thank you very much and uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and I'm very uh, glad that you have uh, found it necessary and uh, uh, chose to uh, speak to me at particularly at this uh, stage. Well, I think it's critical to understand that currently we are broadcasting in a format called analog, which is the very uh, uh, sort of, I, I wouldn't say backward way of doing it, but it's old technology. Uh, it's not the new technology. The new technology is called digital. So the majority of, uh, every, of all countries in the world uh, are moving towards digital. In fact, everybody must move towards digital uh, by June 2015. Uh, so the whole world has a deadline of June 2015 to switch off analog. And so that means we will be moving, if it, in the case of television, we'll be moving our transmission uh, from VHF uh, to UHF, which is ultra high frequency, from very high frequency to ultra high frequency. And when you do that, uh, with one frequency, you are able to create up to 20 channels, which means one frequency in an analog environment, which gives you one television station or one signal, has the potential to multiply as a result of digitalization to give you 20 channels. So that's the process of digitalization. Zimbabwe is part of the world community, and as a result, it has to switch off analog by June 2015. The region, which is SADC, has a deadline of 31 December 2013 as the deadline for going digital. Unfortunately, Zimbabwe will not be able to meet that deadline. So will be many other countries in the SADC region. I think there will be just about two or three countries that are able to meet, which is uh, South Africa, uh, uh, Tanzania, uh, and, and maybe one more. But the majority of the countries are unable to meet this uh, uh, deadline, which means we have a lot of work to do to ensure that we meet the June 2015 deadline without fail. Now, the process in Zimbabwe requires quite some significant amount of money. Uh, Transmedia, which is a government-owned uh, signal carrier company, has indicated to us that the whole process will require about 30 million US dollars. We'll be able to successfully digitalize television transmission across the whole country. And we will have about 48 transmitter sites. Currently under analog, we have 24. But with the digitalization, we'll have to increase them to 48. And we think if that happens, as it is going to happen, uh, we should be able to address a lot of the challenges that many Zimbabweans have been facing regarding reception. Uh, for television services, regarding reception, even for radio services. Well, first of all, we have started assisting the industry by making sure that uh, they are aware of these opportunities. Now, when you have the uh, growth in the sector of one channel translating into 20 channels, that means potentially there is going to be a lot of TV stations or TV channels requiring content. So we are advising those in the industry, publicly owned, privately owned, whoever they are, to prepare themselves for this boom in business, this boom demand in uh, their uh, content. Uh, that's, that's point number one. Point number two, we are saying because this has to happen by 2015, the time to produce the content is now. We need the industry to wake up to the fact that they are required the demands of the sector uh, such that they have to produce exciting content that must fill up those channels. Uh, we believe that uh, this is a huge opportunity to create employment. This is a huge opportunity to create a very strong uh, film industry and television production industry in this country. So we see this as a huge, huge opportunity. What are we going to do as a ministry to support? I think that we wait for approaches from the industry. We don't know what they want until they've come to us and told, and, and, and told us this is what we are expecting. But we will do anything possible within the uh, confines of the ministry's mandate to uh, assist filmmakers, television producers to produce exciting, sensible, and uh, quality 
local content. And of course, we want to promote productions that uh, promote who we are as a people, that promote our history as a people, that promote our culture, that pro promote our Zimbabweanness. And we, we will support uh, those kind of things. We've been uh, brainstorming with a lot of people uh, around issues of maybe creating a fund where filmmakers should be able to borrow a certain percentage of the production costs or uh, uh, talking to Zimra to expand uh, the facility where uh, film producers, television producers can bring in equipment duty-free. So lots of ideas that have come through, but of course we haven't uh, uh, finalized on anything, but these are ideas we think are very important to have so that we can uh, put together a structure that helps the industry. We have a history already as the Ministry of uh, Information, Media and Broadcasting Services of responding to the needs of the industry. When uh, the, those in the uh, music industry uh, asked for support and assistance, uh, when the policy of 75% local content was introduced, the, the reality was that there was not enough local music to fill up that uh, 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 gap that had been opened up by, uh, by policy, by, by the law. Uh, we, we, we as a ministry obviously negotiated that uh, Zimra and through the National Arts Council that those that are bringing in uh, music production equipment uh, uh, be exempted from paying their duties and that is still in, uh, uh, in practice today. It's still, it's still, it's still valid and uh, those in the music industry are still able to bring uh, duty-free equipment. And we think that uh, uh, if we lobby, we should be able to do that for the, uh, for the television industry as well, for the film industry as well. But what is very important for uh, our colleagues in the Ministry of Finance is to demonstrate that the incentives we are looking for will create employment, that the incentives we are looking for will ensure that there's a bigger audience that is being employed. Uh, and while after they've employed, they'll contribute to tax revenue. They will contribute to, uh, uh, to the fiscals one way or the other. Uh, so the industry, when they approach us, need to be very clear that, uh, yes, you can negotiate with Zimra, the Minister of Finance, to get some duty concessions or duty-free uh, uh, imp uh, imports and rebates, uh, but they have to be very clear on benchmarks of supporting the economy, of supporting the generation of revenue into the economy through the film industry. And we think that the film industry has capacity, huge capacity to, to do a lot of things for the country. If, if not to earn money, but also to put uh, uh, the image of the country out there. Uh, well, we are not the licensing authority as a ministry. The Broadcasting Authority of Zimbabwe is the licensing authority in terms of radio stations, in terms of television stations, cable, tel cable television, uh, satellite television. Uh, so they will come up with uh, the, the policy. Uh, our view is that uh, the market must determine. Uh, the licenses must be opened up to any Zimbabwean who is qualified, who is capable, who has the wherewithal to start some of these stations. And they bid openly in an op open uh, uh, a fashion where things are done transparently. We are very clear that we have uh, a duty and a mandate to ensure that our work, uh, particularly when it comes to licensing, has to be clearly above board, that everybody must have an opportunity to participate if they want to, and they must see that the adjudication, everything has been done properly. Because it is the mandate of this government to make sure that whatever it does, uh, is within the expectations of best practice by any Zimbabwean or any outsider. This has already taken off. The train has already started its engines. We are saying, guys, come and board the train. We are going to have a media industry like we have never had before in this country. We are going to have multiple outlets for your films. Mult for outlets for all your television uh, productions. And what you need to do now is to position yourself to capture that market. What you need to do now is to position yourself to create quality, sensible content. You know, it's very clear that the majority of Zimbabweans want to watch local content. I have uh, had the opportunity of traveling to the UK, to the USA, 
to uh, Eastern Europe, where I meet Zimbabweans who are say, asking me, do you have any videos from Zimbabwe? Do you have any films that you have brought from Zimbabwe? They're desperate for local content, for Zimbabwean content. It's, it's in big demand. Now, it's going to also be in big demand here in Zimbabwe when all these channels are, are, are broadcasting. So prepare now. Put together your, 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 your content now because the, 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 the key success for any television channel that is going to be licensed will lie in the content that they have. So the filmmakers themselves must begin to sharpen their skills. This is the time to uh, sharpen the skills, get ready for, for the opportunities. Because one of the biggest uh, uh, problems that the local broadcaster has faced with local content is quality. So we need to improve that quality. But we also are, are fully aware that quality is also determined by how much the broadcaster is willing to pay for the film. Because if you want Hollywood quality, if you want Bollywood quality, you must also pay sufficiently good rates to those that are producing uh, that content so that they can invest significantly in the right cameras, in the right uh, uh, grip equipment, in the right uh, you know, uh, actors and, uh, and, and, and what have you. So uh, we are aware that quality has been a major problem. So we hope that the filmmakers are starting to uh, uh, think around how they can improve their, their content, how they can improve their quality. Uh, quantity is not going to be the, the, the rule. Uh, of course, quantity is expected because of the channels that will come, but quality is, is key. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, very Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you for you having me. Thanks. Thank you.